I'm going to show you how to put earrings on a model. I'm not going to be 100% AI, but I'm going to show you what I do. The first tool we are going to use is WeShop AI. This is how WeShop AI looks like. There's a link in the description to WeShop AI so you can get free points. Now I'm going to go to the workspace and this is how it looks. Now we want to go to the left side and choose AI model. What we want is an image of a model. Okay, we can scrap this from the internet. You can take a picture of yourself. It doesn't really matter. So you click on upload image over here and then you select the image that you want to upload. So I'm going to click on open to upload it. So the AI is going to upload it. So underneath here are some really quick prompts as in what you want to do. Now, in this video, we want to change her face because we don't want any copyright issues. We got this image from a website, so we're going to click on change face because we want to change her face. You can go down in the model shop and choose from a very wide range of models. There's a, there are a lot of models you can choose from. And I'm opting for Usera. Okay, so you just click confirm right so when we go down here we have some points we can use okay smiling back view blah blah you can choose it at will um with the background too you can choose uh, i'm gonna just gonna go the white background it doesn't look pure white but i don't i don't really mind about the details but you can choose based on how you want the background to be if you want a more lifestyle background you can choose one of these now the description part is where you put a prompt. You can ask AI to give you an idea of a prompt. So it's given up a prompt of a close-up portrait of a beautiful woman with perfect skin. <laughs> well, that's how it interprets it. So let's just keep this prompt then. Now when we come down here, we can choose the number of images we want to generate. This affects the price. So if you want to generate one image, it's 15 points. Two is 30 and then four is 60. I'm just going to choose four and let's generate. Click on generate right here. And it's going to take some time to generate the images. All right. So we have our model over here. The first image is terrible. Second image is better, but a little strange. The third image is perfect. Um, the fourth is also strange. So we are going to download image number three. We are going to download it in full size. And I'm going to show you how to put the jewelry on here. Now we have two options. To use WeShop AI again, which will take some points to remove the background of the earrings we want her to wear. Now I'll show you this and I'll show you a free option. Now you create a new task and then we click on upload image. So assuming these are the earrings, we're going to click open and then we're going to select transparent because it wants a transparent background. Here it's going to take some time to figure out what it is you want to remove. So you can edit it if the AI doesn't get it right, but the AI has got it right. So we're just going to click on generate. And as you see, it's going to take 10 points. If you use photo room, if you use photo room, photo room is kind of like a combination of AI and Canva. <laughs> if you sign up to their free plan, you are able to remove backgrounds of products for free. All right, so this is the product and I put this in photo room and it's taking out the background. Now, the only downside of photo room is that when it comes to downloading this image, we can only download the preview version, which means a low resolution version, which means when we download this image, it's not going to be very sharp, but it's going to be fine. So we click on download right here and it's downloaded. This is how the one from WeShop AI looks. If you look at it clearly, you see that it has more detail. It's sharper than the photo room one. So we just download in full size. So to put them together, so you go to Canva and you create a new space. Okay. You can use any photo editing tool whatever works for you i like to use canva because i feel like it's really simple now you're going to upload the files now the files we are going to upload are first and foremost our model our model is going to be one file and then the earrings all right so this is what we have here in canva then i'm going to put the model on the main screen the main image now 
I'm just gonna get her the earrings her ears to be a little more visible huh I think this is cute and then I'm gonna pick the earrings now I have both of them so when you have both earrings like this it's a pair you're just gonna crop out one of them crop the surrounding so it's easier to manipulate you want to make it as small as possible so we can tweak it and then based on the rotate it a bit based on the actual dimensions of the earring you're going to place it on her ears when i say actual dimension of the earring when you have the earring in your hand how it looks like when a person wears it is what you're going to play around with one thing you have to do is make sure that the, the earring blends with the model and this is why i say you can easily use photo room images because the photo room image even though it's not sharp it's actually a good idea because the image of the model is not very sharp anyway but if you get a sharper version of the model's image like if you download the 4k version you might want to use the sharper image of the jewelry as well so to reduce the sharpness you just go to edit go to adjust you just go to edit and you go to blare and then you just you click on the whole image and you just blare out the image of it not too much you don't want it to be super fuzzy so maybe about eight and then you take a look at how it looks okay maybe eight didn't really do it so we edit it again let's try go for oh 15 it's a bit let's go for 11. yeah i think 11 does it so also you can play around with the colors of the image so you can go to adjust and maybe reduce the the, the Reduce the highlights, increase the shadows, which is really nice to um, reduce saturation a tiny bit, reduce the vibrance, just so it looks more realistic on, on the model. So I think this looks pretty cool for what we are doing. So when you finally got what you're looking for, you just download, go to the share button, go to the download, and then you download your image. I have other images over here. I will undo them and only download the last one. Ta-da! And now you have a beautiful image of a model wearing your earrings. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.